Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a pie chart and also a donut chart using R. It's pretty simple. So I'm gonna go through all this code that I have already coded. So here I'm changing, um, here is the, this is the data set that I'm using. And this one is the variable that I'm going to use to make the pie chart. So here in this case, I changed that um, uh, column variable into a factor just so that I can label this uh, um, you know, uh, pie chart in different colors. So uh, you create a new new data set that uses uh, from the your original data set here in this case, uh, DDS analytics is my original data. And then you group them by um, just the uh, variable you want here. I'm using only the job involvement. And then uh, you're, uh, you're gonna use DPLYR package to summarize all the labels because it, this has a four different labels and you, we want the percentage of those four different level. And you can get that by a count equals to N. And then here you can name any, it can be any names, like any variable name, which um, uh, I'm naming uh, job involvement percentage, which is equals to count divided by the number of row in your original data set that's give, that gives you the percentage of different job label like here, level one, level two, level three, and level four. So once you have that, then you're gonna use the data set and then um, uh, create, I mean, you can create any new uh, data set name here. And then you're gonna use ggplot to make the uh, pie chart, I mean, um, uh, donut chart. So here you're gonna use the data set that you already just created above here. And then uh, you just map those using the uh, percentage here, which you, uh, from this line above here that you, created to get the percentage of all those four level. And you're gonna fill this by the job involvement. In that way, it will give you the different color for different job involvement label. And then this is the function that's gonna give you the, uh, uh, the circle or pie chart. You can set the color to any color, like here I have it white. And this gives you the white um, line between each, uh, each level and you can set it to any different color. And then you polar coordinate and uh, is the one, and this is actually, this is the one that gives you uh, a pie chart or the circular graph. And then you can uh, insert a text into your uh, a donut chart here using this one, uh, using a map AES level equals to paste. So you're using whatever the percentage you created up here uh, to your um, pie chart here. So he does, and then you just, you know, converting that into 100%. And here you're just using the label percentage and once you have that, you're gonna position all those in the middle, be just in the middle, and you're gonna give size 4.5, 5.5, which is the size of the text here, and the color is the um, color of the text that appears in the middle of this um, donut chart. And then uh, you're gonna use theme to uh, this theme panel dot by, uh, background equals to element underscore blank. So it's gonna delete everything, like all the unnecessary legends, titles, and then X axis, Y axis, everything. That's what I'm doing here. Axis dot line equals to element dot blank, title blank, tick blank, text blank. And then here, um, legend dot text equals to element on the text size 13. I'm giving, I'm increasing the size of the text a little bit bigger. And then plot titles here, you can change the uh, title of your plot, which is over, over here, um, the size and the color and the font, you can do different anything you want and then you give the title uh, title to the uh, your um, uh, donut chart and then you can you, this it just makes the title appear in the middle of your um, of your um, this uh, text and then the main important thing here is xlim equals to 0 0.3 uh, 3.5 so if you don't mention here it will give you a pie chart but if you mention here then it'll give you a donut chart so let me um, execute this code first i'm gonna do okay um uh, i'm just gonna run all these so it's gonna make everything disappear and then i'm gonna paste that over here and it's gonna give me a there we go your donut chart but if you don't mention here let's say i want to delete this and then run it again oh wait hold on first let's run this code and then i'm gonna paste here and run it again and it's give you a pie chart. So it's really simple and it's very, very, um, it gives it, it's very visual for all the information that you want to display. Hope this was helpful.